Hello. <laughs> Good evening, everyone. Uh, I'm Kelly Jones, the Director of Fine and Performing Arts and Business Education for the Monto School District. And we are thrilled to be here tonight uh, to end our December concert series um, with our high school bands. Um, just, it's been a wonderful concert uh, series that we've had. Um, it's, again, it's great to be in the auditorium with a true concert setting. And just it's wonderful to see such an amazing audience. So thank you again. Um, and we're very excited for tonight's concert. Um, if we could please stand first, though, for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, Thank you so much. Just some very brief announcements. Um, I'm sure most of you have heard them already, but here we go. Um, we are live streaming tonight's concert um, on page two of your program, the Is the Link. Uh, that you can send out right now if you'd like uh, to any family and friends um, anywhere. I uh, can log on to the Wontaw YouTube page and watch tonight's performance. Um, we're really excited about this to be able to, to share um, our incredible program. So if you can, share that out. Um, and we'll hopefully have a nice live um, audience anywhere and a, a beautiful audience here. Um, just some quick thank yous um, to our Board of Ed and our Central Administration, Mr. McNamara, our Superintendent, who's here with us tonight. Just in incredible how much we're able to, to accomplish, and the, the incredible program that we have is because of their support. So I'd like to give them a round of applause and thank them for all that they do. That is also true of our incredible building administration, uh, Dr. Gazon, Mr. Pappas, and, and Dr. Widman, who are also um, with us here tonight. Um, he here with us every day, taking care of the, our students and our teachers, and just making sure that we're able to do what we need to do in the classroom to provide in, in this incredible music education for these students here in Wanto. So congratulations to them, and thank you for all that you do. A round of applause, please. And a huge thank you to our incredible high school Tri-M, our Music Honor Society students. They are here in force at every single concert, helping us do just about anything um, from stage setup to running around and helping us uh, get things ready. Um, we just couldn't do it without them. And they're always here in big numbers, supporting the music program and, and getting, getting experience you know, from the other side. So a huge round of applause for our high school Tri-M students. As you can tell, many of them are sitting right over there and performing tonight, too. So, um, But we are, again, thrilled to be here, and we're going to welcome our symphonic band under the direction of Mr. Chris Cochran. Thank you.
Hello and welcome to our 2022 band winter concert. <sighs> Aren't they wonderful? <laughs> 17 years of doing this, I've never spoken after the first piece, but they're, they're making me break my tradition here. So I, so I blame you guys. Um, and you'll know why in, in a second. Ninth grade is my favorite. Um, and I came to that realization today on the podium during our last rehearsal, I think before our run, run through of the last piece. Um, I've taught almost every grade at this point, And there's something magical about ninth grade where you guys are here. It's the big show, right? And, and you're, you're out of your, your training wheels. You come in, you know, first day, you're unsure about marching band. You try it, and you're probably still unsure, right, at this point. Um, but, like, you're thrown into this mass of 145 people on field, and everyone knows what to do except you. And you're trying to find your way, and, and somewhere along the way, you, it, the light bulb clicks. And, and I think now your parents are hearing it, too, because that was, guys, that was so good. Um, I'm so proud of you. Uh, I, I can't wait to see what the next four years holds for each of you as a musician. Um, beyond being just amazingly talented, genuinely, you guys are just awesome kids. So, so thank you for being you. Thank you for, um, even though my, my hairline doesn't show how, how happy I am and how stress-free my life is, um, I, I, I really, guys, like, I get to come in every day and make music with you guys. That's really awesome. Even though I'm cranky at times, yeah. <laughs> and even though it's 7 a.m., they're not like the happiest to be awake and playing instruments. Some of you have a lot of energy, Faith, at, at 7 a.m. <laughs> um, so guys, thank you so much for, for making my life just so much more full of joy. Um, a couple of thank yous quick, and Mr. Bales will, will, will do a lot more of these. Um, first, this is not an uh, uh, accomplishment of this year. This is an, an accomplishment since fourth grade from, um, from Mrs. Fisher, from Mr. Nunziata, from Ms. Babcock. Thank you so much to our band family for, for getting these kids here. Thank you so much to all of you. Um, thank you so, so much to... I, I didn't realize when I came up to the high school that I would be gaining a really, really, really dear friend. Some may call it a bromance, and you'd be right. Um, Mr. Avilas, I I've never witnessed someone who cares about your children more than him. I get texts way too late. I'm trying to watch Law and & Order, and the guy is texting me just about little things about, about your kids, always. Um, he loves them so much. Um, he designs every marching show specifically for them, for each student, to highlight certain things. Um, the amount of time that he puts into this program is, is inspiring, and I know he, he pushes me to be a better version of myself each and every day, and definitely pushes your, your children to be the best of them themselves. So thank you to, to, to you. So the reason I'm talking now and not after the next piece is because they felt that you need an explanation of Fragile. Typically when, when a young band performs a slow piece, they hate it. They like playing fast, they like their fingers flying, they like loud sounds, they hate being challenged with a slow lyrical piece. I've never in 17 years seen an, an ensemble love a piece. In, in a lyrical sense, as much as this. They, as soon as I say fragile during rehearsal, they, they all say, yes, yes. Um, they love this piece. And I think it's because they latched on to what it's about. Randall Standridge, who's the composer, who we play a lot of, because he writes great stuff, um, he's very open about his struggles with mental illness and depression. And he's written a series of five works in what's called the Unbroken Project, one of which you'll hear a symphonic band play called Choose Joy um, later on. But this piece it is a little bit darker. Um, 
in, in social media, a lot of times you hear about the success stories with um, mental illness, but as we were just reminded last week with, with Twitch, mental illness doesn't always have a happy ending. Um, and that's what this piece is about. So you're gonna hear um, hope, you're gonna also hear torment and, and a manic state. And at the end, it, you're, you're gonna realize it doesn't end on a happy note. Um, and, and they just wanted me to explain that to, to you, so ho hopefully as you hear them play it, you can connect to this piece like they have. So we give you Fragile.
Well, my evening just got much better listening to that. Um, how about another round of applause for the symphonic band? <laughs> and another round of applause for the concert band under the direction of uh, Mr. Chris Cochran. <laughs> so the reason I'm saying my, my night just got better was because I went to the ATM machine just before I came here and the ATM machine decided to make a horrible noise after I asked for money, like gears grinding, and then it didn't do anything. So I went inside to get my money. When I walked outside, apparently, the ATM machine spit out all my money all over the parking lot, and I see people picking up all the, the $20 bills. So thank you, Chase. Um, <laughs> but this, this just made my evening uh, already. You, you guys fixed it. Thank you so much. I want to say a few uh, things about um, the students in particular. Um, I know Mr. Cargan said a lot already, but the marching band season is fast and hard. They start on day one and they're already learning three pieces by memory. Not easy. And they're playing a, a game almost every weekend, plus going outside every day and rehearsing in three different periods. And somehow we slap it all together and we get the product that you see at the football games uh, on, on our halftime show. Plus, we learn how to parade at the same time. So to come off of the season so late in the, in, in the first part of the year, basically the middle of November, and then for them to learn all of these notes so quickly. I mean, we're in December, and they, they sound so good. I, I'm so proud of them for doing that. And you, you see that in every single group. So how about another round of applause for them? Thank you. I want to just take a moment to thank our central administration, our building administration, and our supervisor, Kelly Jones, uh, who collectively have gotten us through very rough times with COVID, the pandemic. Uh, it's been a, a, rocky, um, a, a rocky little uh, three years. Um, but as you can see, look at the size of this group. 
we, we stuck with it and everybody joined band again and everybody loved their instrument and loved band and, and now we are actually flourishing um, in our department. So I'm so happy to see so many kids on stage and this is just one ensemble um, out of the three. So I'm super excited about that. So thank you administration for, for keeping us going the entire time. Our other lifeline is the bandwagon. Uh, you probably saw their table set up outside. Um, they support us they, with everything. Um, when we have parades, they, f they feed the band. You know, they get pizza for everybody or sandwiches. Or when we have other events, they get cookies and desserts. And they're there helping with everything. Um, and, and we would not be able to survive without them. Uh, so I just want to give them a round of applause. And a big thank you. Uh, and the reason why I'm speaking right now, I usually don't speak until later, um, is because they have a 50-50 going. <laughs> and so if you're going to get your ticket, you might want to go get your ticket in between this band and the next band uh, so we can show uh, the, uh, support. And also, um, we're going to be announcing that at the end of the Wind Ensemble uh, set. So um, you know, feel free to do that later on. Um, Mr. Cogburn already thank all the music teachers. Obviously, it's not, n none of this is possible without them. Uh, but I want to mention two more people uh, that have been also helping us. One is Mrs. Delamonica, who um, I think she's working tonight. She's, she's helping out tonight. And she has also helped um, uh, with the addition of a bass, a bass pl player uh, with Wind Ensemble. So thank you, Mrs. Delamonica. And also, thank you, Mrs. Cassidy, who has been with us doing sound checks, you know, helping us out and making sure everything's okay with streaming. So thank you to both Mrs. Delamonica and Mrs. Cassidy. <laughs> and of course, you the parents, you are our lifeline as well. Um, you know, these kids come to, to band every day and if it's not for you, they would not, they would not be what they are right now. So uh, all that success is not because of us. It's because of you. You're the ones that allow them to be here and share their mornings and afternoons with us. So thank you to all you, uh, the parents. <laughs> and a, a bromance is an understatement. What, what we have going on is, is borderline scary. Um, <laughs> I mean, I walk in and it's hugs and kisses and it's, you know, it's, it's, it's a lot of love, a lot of love. No, that's not true. He's actually on his 30th email while I walk in stumbling with my coffee and I'm like barely awake. He's a morning person. I am not. Um, so he's like 30 emails in and I'm like, I'm not even awake. So uh, I want to say thank you to my right hand man, uh, the most intelligent, most productive, most willing person I've ever met uh, in my career. And, and I would not be able to, to do what I do without Chris Cochran. So um, <laughs> big round of applause, Cochran. And I'll get, off the, I'll get off the mic, I promise, in just one minute. I want to thank some students that are helping out. Uh, this ensemble required a lot of percussion and other things. So uh, I just want to point out that Brady Walken, Paul McHale, uh, Madeline Gonzalez, and Alex Barr are helping in the percussion section today. So we're going to close this part of the program with uh, the piece that Mr. Cochran was talking about, uh, entitled Choose Joy. Enjoy.
boy, if they paid me 25 cents for every note that we just played there, I'd be a mil millionaire. Uh, it's a lot of notes. Um, very, very proud of them. That's, that's probably the hardest piece we've ever done, um, you know, since I got this group um, started. So um, um, thank you. Um, I want to just mention a few people that um, have been helping with this particular ensemble. Uh, on percussion, Jamie Ambrosio. Hello. On pad, bass, or bass keyboard, uh, Matthew Lynn. Come say hi, Matthew. Come say hi. There he is. <laughs> On string bass, Matthew Pinella. <laughs> and the most talented horn player on the planet um, is Babcock. <laughs> I don't think I missed anybody, right? Save me. Lo oh, Logan, I'm sorry. Logan Show, playing percussion as well. Logan. My apologies, Logan. I want to acknowledge some of the members um, from this band that have made it into All County, which will be happening um, in just a little while uh, when we come back from break. Uh, Division Four band, Brendan O'Callaghan, please stand up. In Division Five band, we have three people, Kelly Hines. Evan Thole, and Emily Kowaki. Thank you. Division Four Symphonic Orchestra, we have one percussionist going, Sophia Hilliard. And in Division Five Symphonic Orchestra, um, our Section leader Andrew Pascucci from the percussion section. <laughs> Unfortunately, Andrew is, is ill and he wasn't able to be here with us today, but uh, we really miss him. And congratulations to you, Andrew, if you're watching over the stream. Um, very proud of you. Um, lastly, uh, this past December, right at the beginning of December, we sent one very, very talented uh, member of the Wind Ensemble uh, to the Allstate Festival, and he played baritone uh, with, the, with the band at the Allstate Festival, which is very difficult to get into. Um, I believe he scored 100 on his, on his NISMA, and that was part of the reason why he got in. So a big, big congratulations to Evan Thole. <laughs> Very well deserved. So we're going to come to the end of our um, the program, and we're going to play a really, really fun piece that the kids, I think, enjoy more than, than me. Um, it's, it's a fun piece based on Dreidel, 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 and Havana Gila. And uh, I, if you're a band person, or you're a band director, or in music generally, uh, there's not a lot of repertoire uh, for this, this type of music. Uh, there's Christmas music everywhere. Uh, so I was so happy to find this arrangement because it, it, it is probably the best we've played in, in a long, long time. So I'm very happy to share this uh, with you and with our students. So here's Dreidel Dance.
Thank you so much, and thank you for sharing your evening with us this e evening. Um, in tradition, I know it hasn't happened for a little while, probably about two or three years, but we do play Sleigh Ride together, and we invite our alumni uh, and even former um, teachers to, to come up and, and play. Uh, so I'd like to please invite anybody that's interested in playing that has brought an instrument with them to join us on stage for Sleigh Ride. In the meantime, we are going to pull a number out of a hat for the 50-50 raffle, or a bucket. Am I picking? Should I just say the name or you want me to say the number?
And the winner is, do I get a drum roll somewhere? Maybe? No? Oh, this is, thank you. This is across five concerts. All of this money is going uh, to one person. Uh, we'll have it. The winner is Gallo. Is Gallo here? I think she's on stage. You got it. <laughs> Sydney Gallo. Congratulations, Sydney. Oh, <laughs> Mom, mom's here? Oh, 